sorrow. He is excellent in every way. The liberated soul has no desire in his heart. He is content and indifferent. He has no equal. Only one free of desire knows nothing of knowing, says nothing needs saying, sees nothing to see. He who is without desire excels, be he beggar or king. He no longer sees good or bad. What is lust or restraint or the desire for truth to the yogi who has reached life's goal, who embodies sincerity and virtue? The inner experience of one who is free of desire and suffering, who is content and reposes in self, how can it be described? And of whom? The wise one's state never varies. Sleeping soundly, he is not asleep. Lying in reverie, he is not dreaming. Eyes open, he is not wakeful. The great soul seems to think, but has no thoughts. He seems to have sense perceptions, but does not experience. He seems to have intelligence, but is empty-minded. He appears to be a person, but is not. The sage is neither happy nor miserable, neither detached nor attached, neither liberated nor seeking liberation. He is neither this nor that. Even while, even while distracted, the blessed one is still. In meditation, he does not meditate. In ignorance, he remains clear. Though learned, he knows nothing. The liberated one who abides unconditionally in self who is free of the concept of action and duty, who is always and everywhere the same, is desireless. He does not worry about what he did or did not do. The wise one is neither pleased by praise nor annoyed by blame. He neither rejoices in life nor fears death. One of tranquil mind seeks neither crowds nor wilderness. He is the same wherever he goes. That was quite a long one. So, not many of us are there yet. <laughs> so we still need tools to help us develop that seeing, okay? That stillness, that meditative state of tranquility. A tranquil mind doesn't mean you don't think. A tranquil state of being doesn't mean that you don't feel. It doesn't mean that you don't do. What this teaching is telling us is that no matter what is happening and what is being done and whatever is being experienced, it's nothing. And that within a phenomena that is happening, there is always that clarity. So seek clarity, clarity that helps you live a peaceful and tranquil life and one that honours everything, okay? Because you are everything. So if you don't honour everything, you're dishonouring yourself. See you next time.